Let's take a problem on area of a square. Okay. Now suppose you are told that there is a tire. Tire of a car. It is given that the radius of larger circle is 16 centimeter and smaller circle is 14 centimeter. Find out the area covered by shaded portion. Now you will say there is no shaded portion here. Okay, let me do this for you. So basically this this is the shaded area. Let's move on to the solution. We have been told that this radius is 14 centimeter and this larger radius is 16 centimeter. Okay? So, we have to find out as to what is the area covered by this red portion. Now, the area covered by this red portion is nothing but the difference between the area of the larger circle and the area of the smaller circle. So if we know these two, then basically we can kind of find out as to what is the area of the shaded portion. So area of shaded portion is equal to area of, let's say this is circle 1 and the smaller one is circle 2. Area of circle 1 minus area of circle 2. Now what is the area of circle 1? Area of a circle as we know is equal to pi r square minus let's say we have r1 is equal to 16 and r2 is equal to 14. Pi r square r2 square so you take pi as common between these two. So you are left with r1 square minus r2 square. Or 22 by 7 into 16 square minus 14 square. Which gives us 22 by 7, 16 square. Now how does much is 16 square? Let me do that calculation for you. 256 minus 14 square we did earlier was 196. So this will give us a difference of 70. So 22 by 7 into 70, this goes off 10, so we get 220 centimeter square. So just by applying the area of a square formula, we have been able to find out as to what is the area covered by the shaded portion in this particular example.